What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Boatman vlog. Uh, I said I was going to do Monday uploads. I'm getting there. Um, so before everybody's like, where are your uploads? Where are your uploads? We're getting back on a schedule. Um, I just got some new editing software and stuff put on the computer, which I'm very excited about starting to use that. And I'm using the vlog camera right now, so the audio should be better, quality of the video should be better, all that sort of good stuff. Um, so today, I'm not going fishing. It's kind of a colder day. I think it's like 19 degrees or something like that. Uh, which I mean, obviously, in summertime that's good, but you know, it's not stinking hot and uh, you know, I didn't really feel like getting up early and going fishing this morning, so we're just out here, we're going to clean the boat today I think, and uh, work on it a little bit, just kind of tidy it up a little bit. Um, but I was thinking I haven't actually showed my subscribers really um, like a tour of the new boat. So uh, that's a little bit of what today's video is going to be. Um, but starting off real quick, uh, thank you to our sponsors, uh, Dorian Outfitters, St. John MB. Uh, shout out to them. They do so much for this channel. So uh, thank you guys for that. As well as Elite Catch Baits. Guys, you can go check them out on their website. Use code BOATMAN10 for 10% off your purchase. And uh, yeah, they're both really great sponsors. They've done a lot for the channel, helped us out, and uh, couldn't be happier with that. So now into today's video. I'm going to take you through the walkthrough. This is a 17 foot Carolina skiff, the 60 Mercury four stroke on the back. Um, just for your general specs of what you're looking at. And uh, yeah, from, from there on, we're just going to, you know, walk through. I'm going to talk a little bit about the boat. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it, guys. So first off, I'm sitting on my seat right now. So this is what the uh, console is looking like. So we got the old Lawrence Hook 4 over here. Or it's the Hook 2 X4, sorry. Um, fish finder. Works really good this year. I've used it quite a quite a bit for finding bottom depth temperature and uh, in the salt water it was working really good for finding fish. Uh, over here, you can see it, we got the old Unidin radio there. That's a marine VHF. Got the uh, old microphone mounted over there. Uh, next up, just classic chrome steering wheel, steer knob on it. And then that's your general throttle. And uh, got my good old GPS for saltwater navigation in there. You never want to get lost in the fog, all that sort of thing couple uh, decals over there and here there and everywhere you know me and stickers um, so moving forward here walk around the console now we've got two little storage doors on there which is actually great for for me I have a lot of stuff that I usually like to bring so the lighting will change up there got my tackle trays all my marine safety stuff my tool kits and then over here all right so over here I got my anchor storage guys so anchor Another just safety kit, first aid kit, drill. Generally all the little tools and cleaning things I use on the boat. Um, over here I've started another great sticker wall. As you guys know from seeing my whaler, I'm kind of big guy for stickers. So anyways, we got uh, lots, of, lots of stickers and stuff going on. I don't have a big Dorian's one yet. I don't know if I should put that up on the front deck or where I should put that. But uh, you guys can let me know in the comments. So don't mind all the cushions and stuff that's just drying out. So I'll hop up on the bow here. I use this for casting all the time. It works really good for that. And this is looking back down the boat. Console. Beautiful mercury motor. And then I uh, got the rod holders on this side here. So just two to start. Probably going to go up to more at a later date. Uh, just got the other rod stuff laying on the floor. Come back here. This is an awesome little bench seat. Love that. Come back here. The back is a mess right now. So I got fuel tank there, fuel tank there, so we got like a total of, I think, 50 liters worth of fuel we can put in this thing, um, as well as like a spare jug. Using the bucket as the garbage right now, and to get the barbecue for, you know, catch and cook, some whatever else we're doing. Then uh, this is the powerhouse here, so let me hop out of the boat real quick and uh, get you a better look at this guy. Alright, so this is the old beast here, this is what powers the whole, the whole operation. So this is a Mercury 4-stroke EFI 60 at 2003, I believe, is what the old tag says. So yeah, she's quite the beast. Uh, we did install this Stingray um, fin on the back to make it plane quicker, and the thing with these flat bottom skiffs is they really like to bounce, and so that was a big issue that we were having was this skiff was, you know, a little bit bouncy, even with the trim the whole way down. So uh, we just got that motor dialed in, I think, to where I want it with the fin and everything working the way it is. Um, power trim and everything. She's a bit noisy. I'm not gonna put you through it. Um, but yeah, this is this is the beast. Don't mind all the ropes and stuff. I've been cleaning it today. 
So yeah, that's the uh, the new rig for fishing, I guess. And we've been doing quite a bit this summer. I didn't vlog a lot because I didn't really have the camera and stuff that I needed. But uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick boat tour so you know what we're fishing out of and stuff and uh, go into a little bit more detail about it. Uh, it's a, a nice easy loader trailer. We have the braking system and everything on it. Great. And uh, works great. Hauls great. Great boat. I love it a like, ton. Works so good. Flies too. Like, very fast. Very good performing boat. So I couldn't be happier, guys. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This video, I'm not sure what day will be coming to you. As soon as I get it edited, it will be up on the old interweb. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, guys. All that sort of thing. We are like four subscribers away from 200. So make sure you tell everybody to go subscribe to Boatman. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. So we'll keep calm, cast on, and catch you soon.